Hey, YouTube, it's Weird Paul. It's time once again for my monthly thrift store score video, and today we'll take a look at my thrift store haul from June of 2018. Let's start off with books and magazines. I got a couple old issues of Dynamite. This one from 1989 has Debbie Gibson on the cover. There's a Name That Movie Monster puzzle the kids in 1989 would never solve, and a Hulk Hogan mini poster. The other issue with The Simpsons is from 1990, but someone cut Maggie off the cover. I got a couple more Invisible Ink books. Neither of these have been used at all. And I got this little field guide to Pez dispensers. I used to have this one, but I gave it to my sister, who is a hardcore Pez collector, for Christmas one year. Now that's a gift from the heart. And I got a few classic 80s issues of Life magazine. 1989 in pictures includes the San Francisco earthquake and the death of Salvador Dali. 1986 in pictures includes the Challenger disaster and Max Headroom. 1985 in pictures is my favorite, though, because of the section of the recording of We Are the World and the Live Aid concerts. And from an older 1982 magazine, I got this ad for Atari Pitfall. Now that's cool. Okay, it's time to move on to the category of miscellaneous. One of my favorite finds this month was this Darkwing Duck fanny pack from 1991. You got this by sending in box tops to Kellogg's. And I found this vintage box full of real tough laundry bags. This is something that came out of a vending machine. I got magnets of Mickey Mouse, Charleston, South Carolina, and a 1985 magnet depicting Halley's Comet. I got a wooden nickel from the Buffalo Hills Recreation Park, and this one from the Pretzel People entitled you to five cents off a pretzel in 1982. I got a pin from the 1972 Olympic Golf Classic, and this even older one that says, I'm for Beatles. I got a sheet of Hello Kitty stickers, and this cool Spice Girls decal. A whole bunch more Girl Scout patches, an NYPD Harbor Unit patch, and my favorite, this Kennedy Space Center patch. Plus, I found this Wade Ceramic Rhino that would have come from a box of tea. And I found 60 more matchbooks for my collection. Lots of interesting ones from hotels and casinos, and of course, lots of restaurants. I even found a real nice conditioned Ponderosa matchbook. And I found this Arcade Players Club card, and this fun book from the Lady Luck Casino in Las Vegas. It's probably from the early 70s. Dinner special with this coupon, 25 cents less than the posted price. Damn! I got four pairs of Hannah Montana 3D glasses, and some vintage cake toppers. Got the beautiful ballerina and the ever-popular golfer. And we've got a little group of showgirls. Man, talk about having a stick up your butt. <laughs> also got some great vintage greeting cards. Want to really keep the doctor away? Try garlic. Got some postcards from the UK. They invented the game there, you know, except they call it golf. And one of Nicolas Cage. Plus, I found some photos of someone's old interior decorating and a few great ones of people that I don't know. Ooh, how kinky. And I found this photo signed by the members of Five Finger Death Punch. And finally, one awesome score for only 99 cents was this little first act amplifier, microphone included. Peanut butter recall, I remember them all. Okay, this would be a perfect time to move on to my audio scores. Only one cassette this month, and it's from someone's answering machine. You turn that answering machine off. I know you're at home. Give me a call a little later. Bye. I got a couple of LPs. This is the third album by the band Triumph, just a game. No cover, just the record. And I got the 1986 album by Emerson, Lake, and Powell. Sadly, none of these three musicians are still with us. I also got 945 RPM records. Jungle Love by The Time, Heal the World by Michael Jackson, I Feel Like a Bullet by Elton John, Caddyshack Theme by Kenny Loggins, 
Let's Hear It For The Boy by Denise Williams, The Other Guy by Little River Band, I Miss You by Climax, though I bought it for the B-side, Video Kid, High On Emotion by Chris DeBerg, and Kiss On My List by Hall & Oates. And I got a few of these magic items. And I got 27 CDs. Blue Oyster Cult, Van Halen, Dio, Def Leppard, Ozzy Osbourne, four CDs by Metallica, two of them are CD singles. Plus Hall & Oates, Rod Stewart, Fleetwood Mac, Jim Croce, Martha Reeves and the Vandellas, Miles Davis, John Coltrane, the Notorious B.I.G., Young Bloods, Jim Crenn and Randy Bauman, the About Last Night soundtrack, and two CDs by Depeche Mode. I was surprised to find this CD by Pop Will Eat Itself on the Rough Trade label. And I got CDs by Big Audio Dynamite, Romeo Void, Duran Duran, and Blondie. All right, let's move on from audio to video. I found this VHSC cassette, and when I played it, I found out it was a film of someone doing a chemistry experiment in 2004. Too bad I didn't have this footage for my music video back in 1988. I score a bunch of burner, I score a bunch of burner. I only found one VHS tape this month. It's a promo tape of trailers and mini-movies from films released by Academy Entertainment. The trouble with Dick is Dick gets me into trouble. <laughs> And I got another 66 DVDs. I got TV stuff like Fraggle Rock, Dean Martin Variety Show, Season 1 of Bored to Death, and the two DVD set of Monty Python Live. Comedies, The Life of Brian, Ladybugs, Dickie Roberts' Former Child Star, The Campaign, Knocked Up, National Lampoon's Senior Trip, American Pie, The Naked Mile, Van Wilder, Beer League, Beer Fest, Taking Woodstock, Going in Style, My Super Ex-Girlfriend, The Criterion of Royal Tenenbaums, Brothers Justice, Postcards from the Edge, Down and Out in Beverly Hills, and the 30th Anniversary Edition of Animal House. I'm a zit. Get it? Music stuff. So excited to finally have a copy of my favorite 80s live TV event of all time, Live Aid. I also got Metallica through the Never, Michael Jackson, This Is It, 20th Anniversary Edition of Purple Rain, Blu-ray of Eric Clapton Guitar Festival, a tribute to Tommy Osh, Hairspray, and My Fair Lady. I got a four-film Lucille Ball collection, The Right Stuff, Ghost, Edward Scissorhands, Murder in Coweta County, The Wrestler, Becoming Jane, O, The Cave Dweller, American History X, and Animal. Action movies, I got a Chuck Norris two-pack and the Chuck Norris movie Forest Warrior, Hard to Kill and Above the Law with Steven Seagal, Shanghai Nights, Mortal Kombat, Batman Begins, and a couple Tarzan movies. I picked up this World War II collection because seven of the movies were made in Italy. I got The Interpreter, Troy, The Last Samurai, The Scorpion King, and The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I got a couple of these 50 horror classics discs that include episodes of the series Tales of the Unexpected and Tales of Tomorrow. I got Mute Witness, The Sixth Sense, Underworld, Sweeney Todd, and Van Helsing and sci-fi movies, The War of the Worlds remake, Destination Moon, First Men in the Moon, When Worlds Collide, It Came from Outer Space, and The Day the Earth Stood Still. I love those old sci-fi movies. Let's take a look at our last category, toys and games. I got some video games. For the Wii, I got Carnival Games, Lego Rock Band, and Scooby-Doo in the Spooky Swamp. For the PlayStation, I got Test Drive 6, for the PS2, I got Open Season. And for the PSP, I got LEGO Star Wars 3, Need for Speed Most Wanted 510, Rock Band Unplugged, Fireteam Bravo 3, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Rush, Daxter, and Parappa the Rapper. And I got this. It's another Namco plug-and-play joystick. This one has five games, including Rally X, which was always one of my favorites in the arcade. I got some trading cards. I got 14 Shopkins cards and 19 of these Everway Visions cards. The fronts have paintings and the backs ask you questions to encourage your mind to make up a story. I got three Pinnacle Shades cards, two How to Train Your Dragon 2 cards, a couple Nat Geo Kids cards, and four Pokemon cards. Plus I found this one huge Pokemon card. I never saw one of these before. And I found this awesome Lucky Charms Pog. That is wild. 
I found a few Viewmasters from the Discovery Channel, Sleeping Beauty, and Bambi. And this Hot Wheels surfing the school bus. And this vintage 1981 plastic Garfield bank. Now check this out. It's a Mr. Clean oversized figure from the year 2000. There were only 100,000 of these made, and I have number 10,396. I got this 1976 Bugs Bunny puzzle, and I put it together. Hey, yeah, mass puzzle doing skills. I also got a Crazy Bone, a Bok Choy Boy, a Ninja, an Alien, whoever this is, two Shopkins, and a Charmander. And now it's time for the find of the month. A vintage late 70s Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot figure. And I got this for a nickel. I got everything that you saw in this video for about $19. I hope that you enjoyed my thrift store haul from June of 2018. And if you did, don't forget to click on that like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube. Peanut buttery call. I remember.